back to my channel and if you're new hi welcome to my channel my name is platinum christy i would really love it if you would subscribe and join our little growing family as well as hit that notification bell so that you know when i post a video every week so for today's vlog i'm about to serve some holiday staycation ideas particularly at the shangri-la hotel okay so initially with the pandemic and all my parents and i have been quite iffy quite reluctant with the idea of staying at a hotel however in a way we were kind of pushed to do so because of typhoon ulysses my household was one of those that was affected it not in a severe way though thank god but our electricity was out for about 24 hours or so a circuit broke or something in the middle of the night while it was pouring and something popped at around 12 30 midnight and it only came back one at 1 a.m the next night or so anyway but in between that period of time we just realized how reliant we were on technology and electricity these days my parents needed to work they work from home and i also learn online i do online schooling i also had to send my thesis draft for weekly chapter submissions you know university work like no i'm just kidding i love writing my thesis Anyway, <laughs> we decided to go to our longtime favorite, the Shangla Hotel, after maybe about a year of not going there. This was around November 12. And because of the typhoon, when we went there, although each guest is required to have a swab test before um, enjoying a staycation at the hotel, this day was an exception. Because of the typhoon, they probably couldn't bring in nurses to help conduct the tests on the incoming guests that rhymed and so all we had to do was a little short interview with one of the staff members and after that little that little chat that interrogation <laughs> about our health conditions we were finally allowed to go on with our shangula experience and i can't wait to take you guys with me and on that stormy morning we finally made it to the shangula hotel a childhood favorite and multi-award winning establishment from asean to conde nast and now to settle in having entered our room here we have the beds couch uh, all look so soft and here we have rainy makati and if we turn around here you can see my mom disinfecting the surroundings with lysol <laughs> and the disinfection continues with this little goodie bag of disinfectant spray hand sanitizer the shangri-la self-care kit it is and i think this mini bar is where i'll be spending my nights coffee while writing my thesis and some alcohol after submitting Let's check out the bathroom. Here we have the toiletries in emerald green vials, some water glasses, the shower, and of course, a bathtub. <laughs> this is me taking pictures of my outfit because we're on our way out to eat at Circle Shangri-La. Here, let us travel by taste. On to the right, you have some veggies. Fun, but ooh, look what's on the left. An assortment of desserts. We have cakes, profiteroles of every flavor. And well, 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 look at this array of booze. We have reds, whites, whiskey, sake. And I also realized I was surrounded by written menus and, well, velvet ropes. This is me trying to find my way around them. There to prevent self service, so I'll just be staying here. So we just arrived at Circles in Shangri La Hotel. So far, they have these protocols that you order from this menu. It features a variety of cuisines, as you can see here. So, as you can see behind me, the food is displayed right there, but we cannot actually take food from there ourselves. We have to ask the waiters to take it for us, and this should abide with the social distancing <laughs> protocols and all. And as usual in a buffet, we start with the Japanese food. Here we have some California maki, salmon and tuna sashimi, some miso soup, and ebi tempura as well. Then the waiter served my order of Peking duck, grilled fish, and sirloin steak. Then I asked for the assortment of Chinese-style roast from pork, duck, and chicken. And finished off the meal with my favorite bibinga with coconut and cheese shavings and a cup of coffee. Later that evening, I had another hot drink, sencha green tea, and mushroom soup. Keeping it light for the night, I had a fruit platter before going to sleep. It's a beautiful day. 
Good morning, guys! It is our second day here at Shangri-La Hotel in Makati, and I just woke up. It's around 9 a.m., and it's finally sunny! I'm so happy! And also, breakfast just came. Now on to get ready to go home, but not without a dance party. So this is today's fit. I wore this in another video before, but at home, and then I'm wearing this out. So I decided, I know this looks like pajamas, and it probably is, but I tried to dress it up with some um, dangling earrings, some more jewelry like yesterday, and Prada boots. So hopefully it will be a bit more like athleisure rather than rather than just I rolled out of bed today but hey I don't know I like it <laughs> so guys that was the vlog I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos I really do appreciate each time you guys watch my videos it means a lot to me it's like you guys taking the time to read my diary of some sort, watch my virtual diary, listen to my thoughts and my feelings and my new experiences or experiences that, have, that I haven't had in a while. Just a disclaimer though, probably should have put this disclaimer at the beginning of the video, although I just wanted to keep it light and fun. But now that we're here and if you're still watching, I just want to say that I'm aware that although I have filmed a vlog of a rather, if you would say, relatively pleasurable activity, you know, like a holiday staycation type of thing, I am aware of the nature of the parallel natural calamity that has hit the country and with that I just wanted to say that some of us may have been quite lucky to be safe from the typhoons but that shouldn't prevent us from acknowledging and responding to the fact that masses of people have lost their homes their family members their clothing their their basic necessities their food supplies and all and I think this should be a calling to us, especially that Christmas is coming or that the holidays are fast approaching to, well, give love <laughs> this Christmas season. Why don't you give love on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day? I just wanted to say that although this did happen a month ago, the implications of this natural calamity, actually natural calamities, they're coming in and beating up the country. It should be acknowledged and even though it's been a month or so since these super typhoons have hit, we should still be doing something to respond. And I still think that the Filipinos are some of the strongest people I have met or that I have been raised with. And I really love how they smile through hardship and all. But let us stop romanticizing that. I think it's really important that we do our part no matter how small, I'm sure it will count. Again, I just wanted to say thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!